Hi guys, this is a tour of Emerald Coast RV Beach Resort, which is located in Panama City Beach. This RV resort is located near some tourist attractions like Zoo World and Ripley's Wonderworks, and it is and it is also very close to the beach, like a five to six minute drive. And so, entering the campground, you can see an office on your left and so this office is open from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. it's not it doesn't run like a campground store so you don't find many necessities here you would have to go to a store to find like necessities like eggs milk um, water and here is the rectangular saltwater pool which is one of the two pools in this RV resort each pool has some recliners and it has a table with chairs and an umbrella and so this all of the holes are all of the pools are heated this pool also has a hot tub but while we were staying it was closed so going on i will be showing you the sites so this is mahi mahi circle and it has like sites 20s to 30s um 40s to 50s and so each site in this rv resort has concrete padding and they have a, either a picnic table or a small black table with some chairs. Um, each site also has a little light stand, the bulb thing you see right there, which goes, which turns on around like sunset. And each site has their own palm tree. I think personally, the sites were very well spaced. Like, you had enough space between yourself and your neighbor. So, moving on, we are going to be going to one of the main areas of the RV resort where many of the activities are located. So, behind this building, we have this second pool, which is an oval, normal pool. Um, it has the recliners and the tables, like the last pool, and it has a waterfall also. So, next, I am going to show you the building we saw before. So first off, I'm going to show you one of the bathrooms that is in this RV resort. So um, the bathrooms are very well kept. They're very clean and they're clean daily. And next, I'm going to show you the fitness center. Okay, so here we have some treadmills weightlifting equipment, yoga mats, and stepping boards. There's also a sanitation area, and all the equipment is in good condition. Okay, so here behind the oval pool, we have the volleyball and basketball court. I'm pretty sure they have equipment available for these two. For the tennis court, you have to bring your own equipment, and next to that is the dog park, which is one of two, I think, in the RV resort. Okay, so here are some sun homes, and as we move on, here on the right, we can see this lake. I'm pretty sure there's two lakes, and one of these lakes is a catch-and-release fishing, so you can fish, but you have to release the fish that you catch, and it's mostly used for decorative reasons. Here we are going through the sun home portion of the RV resort. So these are like cabins and some are available through um, the RV resort for rental and then others are owned by people. So each sun home has their own deck and it also has a parking space for your vehicle. Okay, so now we are going through the 10 sites, and I think these sites over here and those ahead are very well located if you're going to reserve here because they're close to the activities that I showed before, and they're also close to the bathroom and the laundry room, so it's not a very long walk um, when you need to use these amenities. Okay, so around here... We are reaching the 80s and we're starting at the 100 sites. Here's a parking space. Okay, so my only two concerns for this RV resort are that one, there's a gate at the entrance, but it doesn't go down. 
So that can lead to a safety concern since there are so many children playing and one would want to ensure that only people that are supposed to be at the RV resort are there. And my second concern would be that there isn't a campground store. So it's kind of troublesome to have to go to the store whenever you need something. Um, here we are going past the rectangular saltwater pool where we were at the beginning. And back there is Zoo World. Here on the left, I didn't show it, but there's a playground for kids. This area, I would say, um, has a slight smell of zoo since it's next to the zoo world. Okay, so overall, this RV resort was very nice, and I would give it a 4 out of 5 star rating. Okay, thank you. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe so you can see more campground content.